Hello, my name is Brendan Sinclair. What I'm going to talk about in this short video is search engine optimization. It's a really specialized field. Uh, it's a field that we do a fair bit of work in and it's a field that I'll, uh, I'll give you a few tips about on how to be better at optimizing for search engines. Number one tip for optimizing for search engines is focus on Google. Now that's not a tip a lot of people will give you. They'll say focus on the other engines because you get a lot of traffic from them. But Google is the big one. If you get a high ranking in Google, you get a lot of website traffic, a lot of very dedicated, very um, fired up, targeted visitors to your website. I was reading just the other day, in the US, in the UK, sorry, something like 78% of the searches are done on Google. Almost 80% of the searches are done on Google. You know a search engine's doing all right when to search for something on the internet, you call it Googling after that search engine. So they're doing all right. So number one, focus on Google. And you've got to understand what the Google algorithms are like, um, what, they, what they rank. And basically, Google wants a good site. They want to show their visitors the very best sites that they can possibly show. So that person keeps using that website, the Google website, keeps coming back, keeps those the searches, keeps clicking on those ads on the side, and they keep making the, you know, a billion dollars an hour, whatever it is, it's a fair bit. Um, so, how does Google assess to see whether your website's any good? Well, the big assessment is how many people link to your website. That's the major crux of their, of their assessment because there's really no other subjective way to do it. Um, they basically look upon a, a link to your website as a vote. Um, and, but then the linking becomes very um, complicated. Does the link come from a site related to your website? So if your website, like one of our sites, if our website's selling UGG boots, do the links come from other UGG boot websites? If they did that, with the search engine Google would look upon that and go, hey, that's a relevant link. We're gonna give that a few extra points. Think of it like that. The other thing they're gonna look at is, okay, well, Brennan's website gets these links from these other Ugboot websites. I wonder if he owns the domain. And they check things like who owns the domains. They check things like how many links come to those other websites that then link on to me. They check the quality of those links. So a website that gets a ton of links from good quality websites that are unrelated in terms of ownership or in terms of link circling, if in terms of reciprocal links. It's, it's okay to have reciprocal links. You link to me, I link to you. But obviously that's not the greatest thing because that's not a, a true recognition of a vote for your website for being a good website. That's more of a recognition that, yep, I've got a website, you link to me, I link to you, we've got a link, we'll try and trick Google. And that's how they perceive that. So the links to your website is an absolute number one thing. So the question is, how do you get links to your website? And it's, it's always been the same. And this is what Google wants you to do. Google wants you to develop absolute best website that you can. They want you to update it frequently. They want you to update it with great information. They want it so good that people link to it automatically or you know, of their own free will because it's such a good website. And that's a really important thing to understand. And it's always been the same. At the moment, there's a term going around called link baiting where you develop specific components so that you try and get links. That's what good quality sites do all the time naturally because it's such a damn good site that people link over to it because there's free reports because there's free newsletters because there's great information it might be some video it might be audio whatever it is it's an authoritative site that people link to naturally so that's the number one thing create a great website with great content update it all the time make it a hub of activity make it a hub of of authenticity make it a hub of knowledge and make it a site that's recognized as an authority in the field. That's, that's the way to do it. Second thing, go to places like directories. There's a million different directories out there. We've got a list, I think there's about 598 directories that we've got on our list of half decent directories. Now, the good thing about the directories is, well the bad thing is that you pay to go on them. The good thing about them is that they link to you, you don't have to link back generally avoid the ones that require reciprocal links. It might cost you a little bit more, but it's generally worth it. Basically what the directories are, if they're a decent directory, people use them. Yahoo's a directory, for instance. Uh, Dmoz is a directory, dmoz.org. 
Now, if you get links from these places, number one, you get uh, decent amounts of people searching on those directories. So you get decent amount of people visiting your website from those directories. The other thing is the places like Google, search engines like Google, look at those, go, hey, there's a link here from this website. It's a highly credible website. It's got lots of incoming links. We're going to give that extra points because it links to uh, this particular website, even though you paid for that link. Okay, that's the second way to get links is directory listings. Third way to get links, you can buy links, you can lease links, you can do the reciprocal linking. Again, the search engines are onto that sort of stuff, but it doesn't mean that you can't do it. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't maybe give it a try. I'd certainly mix up your links, do some reciprocal linking, buy some links, maybe lease some links, uh, get links from forum postings, get links from reciprocal uh, links asking whoever else has got a website to link to your website. If it's a relevant website, that's what Google wants, is links from relevant websites, links from good websites that indicate to them that your website is worth ranking high. Okay, so we've got those, those two major things. Number one, target Google in your search engine optimization because the traffic that gets generated, by traffic I mean the amount of visitors that visit your website can be just colossal, really can be uh, very significant. Number two is get plenty of links to your website and do that by creating a great website, by creating a great resource with lots of great information. So that it's a hub of activity and a hub of authority and so that people recognize that and so that a search engine like Google can look and go, hey, these guys have got lots of links. They're coming, they get four or five links each and every day from a number of different sources. They don't appear to be buying links. It's, they've got a few directories. They don't all go to the home page. They've got what's called different anchor text, which is the words that link to that website. They might link to internal pages. They might link to different bits and pieces. Uh, the links come from quality sites who themselves have got good linking uh, profiles. Um, these other websites that link to this website aren't owned all by the same people. Um, they're not reciprocal links. All of those sort of things. And what that says to some, someone like Google, someone like Google, a place like Google, a search engine like Google, is that this is a quality site and deserves a higher ranking. Your on-page factors, the things that you do on your actual web page, are still important, of course. You've got your title tag, you've got your meta description, you've got your, your heading and your subheadings and your copy. Um, they're relevant to a degree. Things like the meta description, sometimes they'll be shown in a little snippet of Google, sometimes they'll take the relevant bit off the page more than likely. Okay, I read some research the other day, the title tag is apparently the most important thing. Um, I, I've seen that to an extent. The heading's a little bit important and the copy's a little bit important, but the most important part by an absolute mile is the links to your website and the anchor text of that website. What does it say? So if you've got a website, for instance, like us, about Ugg boots, you're trying to get a high ranking for Ugg boots, and the link that links over to you uses the words click here, that's not great. If the link linking over to your website, to our Ugg boot website, for instance, is Ugg boots from our boot website link out our Ugg boot website with the words Ugg boots, that's a really good link. Google looks at that and goes, well, that's relevant it's from a boot site. Use the words Ugg boots, links over to a website that's about Ugg boots, got a title tag of Ugg boots, it's about Ugg boots. This is a relevant link. This is a good link to have. Subsequently, you get, basically get more points and you get a higher ranking. So with your search engine strategy, keep those little tips in mind. And before I know it, your search engine rankings will hopefully start to go a little bit higher. Hope that's been of interest.